is Dr. Yu, and welcome to Shadows Over Loathing. In case you don't know, this is the game that is a, that it, it, it's it's West of Loathing, but in a new twist, it's new. It's brand new. It's brand spanking new. Uh, I've played the original West of Loathing, not on recording, but I have played it on my own time, so I know a lot about this game, and the style of it, and I loved how goofy it was. I loved everything about it. I played it on my own time and greatly enjoyed the game. And now I'm happy to bring you guys Shadows Over Loathing! And now we get to experience the fun goofiness of this game together. And not only that, we are also joined by Sea Sandwich. See? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. And let's start us off. I have- I, I, I don't know anything right now. Oh. Moving company, it's how you move. That's kind of funny. It smells like diner. It smells like they're open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. <laughs> the Nightingale Diner. I got meat. There's pie. You'll like coffee. <laughs> try try coffee. You'll like it eventually. Nightingale welcomes all travelers. You shouldn't bother anybody until you get the magazine off your face. <laughs> Do you, you want to do it? You want to do the other voice here, see? No, <laughs> no. Uh, okay. That's like a two to wipe the look up for something. The, the copy of a look magazine that's stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points to the right, as far as you know. <laughs> you could feel you could feel a little sign here, but can't see what it says. Probably instructions for what to do in case of <laughs> magazine-related emergencies. <laughs> you shouldn't bother anyone taking the magazine off your face. There's some kind of big glass and metal box here, but you can't actually see what it is. <laughs> it's, it's the bathroom, probably. You can blend your way into the bathroom, eventually find a sink after fumbling and falls for a while, and manage to dis disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing. Yes. Oh! I get to choose how I look. Oh. Who, what, who or what am I? I can be a distinguished gentleman, yes. Hmm. Let's go. What are we feeling here? Uh, so, uh, good options, good options, you know? It's gonna spend hours on the character customizer. <laughs> yeah, no, welcome to the entire first recording. Uh... I'll do this one. There you are. Leave the bathroom. <laughs> Couple of, uh, older folks are having an anime discussion, while well, one of them is. I'm pleased the way a young woman actors with layers of short hair is a sassy dog and dresses don't even cover their ankles. That's scandalous! Dances do flying around like don't know the pro prohibition, put kibosh on that sort of thumb fooler, but no, sir! Can you imagine dancing and waltz they're playing nowadays? Oh, that's the problem right there! It's newfangled jazz music with the drums and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. Then Cup's got to you're supposed to be drinking decaf! <laughs> Uh, one of those new meat-operated multi-select phonographs, or jukeboxes, kids call them meat. Hey, son, coin return. I got a meat! <laughs> Talk to them. Uh, hey, Kent, what town is this? Uh, po- <laughs> po <-keepsy? laughs> I think that's how I'd say that. You two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turned into a real sawmill, so we boosted the jelly beans breezer for the weekend, world to the hot potato. <laughs> oh, Oh, Bushwa, you made it sound like I'm south. The flow of my kite, everything's Jake. He's just pretty sure they're only three or four years old and you need to, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a canceled stamp? Go <laughs> go put some pepper in your shoe. <laughs> Jesus. The sign says meat only, no credit. Thanks, better. I am Ethel. Enter a different first name. Uh, call me Doc. I am Doc. Doc who? Come on. It's too easy. Doc Umbreon. <laughs> what can I get for you? Uh, it's... 
Can I get a cup of coffee? Sure can! The best cup of coffee in the state. If I may say so myself, that'll be one meat. Great. Right, dope, please. I got diner coffee. Anything else on... Does the Post Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be handed in a minute. Good thing, too. I can hear the rain tonight. What takes the ocean? If Michael is there, I get a letter from him. wants me to help him with something. There's a reason, hun, but it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? I, uh... Uh... I just really want to help. Michael must be pretty important to you. Uh... Everyone who needs help deserves help. I got Scout's Honor. You just love helping people. I didn't even know that was a choice. Okay, well, I have this now. Wasn't that sweet? The world could use you more folks like you, I think. So it makes me wonder if that's like a choice that I'm going to be able to now make that'll help affect things like it did back then. Oh, I see a character sheet. <laughs> love this. Strong back, quick wit, fashion sense, good eyesight. And I got perks. Basic humanity. <laughs> Only basic. Where's my where's my silly walks? <laughs> Arachnophobia. <laughs> Arachnophilia. <laughs> that was a very spooky option, wouldn't you agree, sir? <laughs> Hey, there's anything particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one of the day. No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and makes my stomach hurt. Eh, well, that isn't for everyone, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And maybe then every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy! <laughs> Let's go out and wait for it. Prologue. You pull up the letter you got from Uncle Moray and read it again. Moray Morris, Moray's Antiques, 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Doc, I hope this letter finds you well and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened and I need you. Need I need the help of your adventurous spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you are able, please. Your Uncle Moray. This clown! That was a man. And now there's another man. He's just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly jolts to a s jutters to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see sights and sounds of ocean sea, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh oh. Drink red cola, protect your family. What's going on instead of just wandering aimlessly off into the night? What if the bus looks comfortable make for unreliability? What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh jeez, Dan filled up before I left. I filled up the bus, but trips to exactly one full tank of gas. It's an empty... <laughs> empty gas. <laughs> empty tank gas. <laughs> uh, plus one additional can. Swell. Where do I have to go get it? Well, I'd go myself, but except for two beings. Firstly, being as a bus driver, I'm late. I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep my eye on it, and secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fellow that doesn't want to go wandering around the rain all night. <sighs> well, alright then. <laughs> well, can I guess I don't have much choice, can I wear an umbrella at least? This is left hand umbrella. <laughs> I'm left hand as I have nuts. I'm not. Sorry to hear about that. I do have a flashlight I can use though, good luck, thanks. This pump is empty, this pump is full of water instead of gas. There's a little bit of gas left in this pump, but there's no hose to it. Seems like the gas only costs six and six <laughs> costs six and fifteen the sixty fourth meat a gallon. Oh, those are the days. Stations is run out of service. I wanna go in. All sales are final. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. We got a baseball bat. Loot it. We got meat. Says one object left shelf. Take it. Cheese loaf. Nobody in the right mind would consider a vile substance snack. <laughs> Can I knock it over? No. Do I get to equip it? Okay, no, I'd auto equip the cool.
I know, it's not compulsion like. <laughs> Miserable looking hench neck stand, I'm sticking out with them. Hi there, her hench are so nice to put me. Can you give me a lift? I need to go to Aldan and her by me. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? Lydia. It's nice to meet you, Lydia, although my circumstances aren't great. So what's in Albany? No, I just wanna go somewhere new. Albany isn't new though, it's only all the cities in the country. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh you know where I can get some gas? Gas? Let's drive over now right now and find us some more. Plus, yeah, I'm going to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay. Uh how about the rain, huh? Oh, it's raining? Yeah, sure is. Wouldn't have to be stuck in the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you're not much of a noticer. Well, anyway, seen any good movies lately? Saw so Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and <laughs> at the Nickelodeon. That's a classic, what do you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer uh, comedies like myself, like new Buster Keaton one, The Cameraman. I don't know what that is. Oh, he's great. You seen Sir Like Junior? That's my favorite. Really terrific. Ah, uh, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man, that was really good. Oh yeah, H.G. Wells is great. I've read his new one, War in the Air. I didn't care for it. I was thinking the Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name of those terrible. This really works the best. Link the time machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad I would find Sun and Connect on Lydia. So, um... 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 Okay, good luck. <laughs> Hey, I want to be in friendly, but this is a private residence, you old Oh, jeez, sorry, everything's a desolate now, so I guess I'll just assume this place is banned. Oh, well, come on, you'll be you'll be right, so I might as well get a guy out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name is Doc Umbreon. Howdy, Doc. I'm Elias. Elias Chikov. Make yourself a home. Oh, I accidentally walked out. <laughs> He's got a gun! That's Elijah. Uh, are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? It's a varmint rifle. So I'm going there aren't any varmints. There's varmin, to be sure, but the critters and such like that. But the Almag didn't list examples of varmint. Q <laughs> varmint, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. This! No need to fret over it now. In any case, the gun is for later. Later? Uh, yep. Much later. Oh, huh, okay. <laughs> so you're moving out? Yep. Finish packing. I'm just waiting for the movies to come by and take the last load of stuff. You got movies coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning. But I went back away with my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. See? Why are you leaving? No, well, my dog went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never pray. Part particularly cared at family, anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel for a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. Nice. So what's your story? What are you, what are you doing all night like this? Got a letter from Uncle Maury. Sound urgent, so I hopped a bus in Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas. Driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I got you. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks! Gotta warn you, though, you'll have to find my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's <laughs> it's a thing my daughter, Simone, built. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, my kid's a real tech technical whiz. She built an auto-ominous robo-traption <laughs> to help with plowing and harvesting and, like... Worked real nice, too. What? Well, problem is, after she left, it blew a what's it tube and got violent. I'm pretty sure with the machinery, but it comes with newfangled electronics. Might as well be a dog trying to. trying to read Play Doh, so I locked it in the barn. Aha, I see. You're welcome to try your hands find it if your minds do, but be careful, it's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. Thanks. <laughs> oh, this is out back. Ooh. Nothing on clothes like a pair of socks and an old gun. Loot it. I got the rusty pistol. Oh. Scarecrow's a bit more intimidating than these crows must be real aggressive. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> that really shot the crew out of you. Yeah, oof. <laughs> well, if that's any sign that I'm not ready for it, I don't know what is. 
That's where it leads. Chris Doyle, I ask you. Spare bedroom ain't using forever. I don't even know if it was bother opening since the dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though. I doubt I found much of use. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, shoot, I see the dust devil. Meat. Oh, I got a book. Is that the funny walks? No, the hand comes down. Oh, I need... I need mysticality. Okay. This was a goal she had just found. Revenge, Cattleman's Revenge, Gunfighter Rattlesnake Creek, Showdown Force Creek, Ragnarok Cow. There's a lot of a lot of them there. I kind of want to fight this dust devil. Wait, there's floorboard. Huh? What's this dust devil about? Drag it out. Sure. Sounds a pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay. There's gotta be something I can beat around here. You should have listened to Chekhov. With my baseball bat, maybe do more. Maybe I should try it. Let, let, let me see if the baseball bat does more. Ow. Yeah. No baseball bat that also does one. I'm just weak as hell right now. No. <laughs> okay. See so, ya. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to be way stronger. Wait, are these box tears? Or tears? No more dicks. Can't put neither of them boxes. Don't make any sense. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors? <laughs> Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 104 times? Ah, no, of course not. Just collect them all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're different from most ways, and they're shiny. It's collecting tri <laughs> trifecta. Oh, huh? alright then. His bathroom looks <laughs> like you I think it's a bathroom, sure. How do you know it's a bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which toys lead to bathrooms all. Well, good for you, I guess. Flush it. Yeah, I still get EXP when I flush the toilets. Let's go. Oh, you can see your face in the large mirror, just like your own mirror back home. Gaze into it. Hi, Doc. Smile. Hey, they're good looking. Oh, what's wrong? Why I oughta? Oh, no, no, no. You remember sounding real embarrassing you did a couple of years ago. Ugh. We got a little... assume this looks good. Oh, there you go. What if I just keep doing this? <laughs> Will anything happen? Nope. Okay. What's with the door? Oh, it's Simone's room. Hopefully she ain't left anything important there, because I plumb forgot how to work the crazy lock she invented. Hold on. Hmm. Gears. About gears. Someone left him behind when she was off to school. Figured out how to keep him for her. That makes sense. What's a funny looking thing? That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. So oh, fun. It used to be. Don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? But yeah, I know exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there. Now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. One, it's all yours. You gingerly take duck call, trying not to think hard, hard not to think about spiders. What spiders? Good job. This. <laughs> So what's the duck call? Oh, it's an offhand. Reduces an enemy's uh, muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one when you honk it at them once per fight. Ooh, huh. that's pretty good. Right, we're gonna leave for now and keep exploring down this way. Oh, this is why aren't you helping? I am helping it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Joey Blue Cola. Looks like they drove a boxcar in here, and why is it on track? Anyway, boy, someone must have hated this boxcar. Interrupt his tootling. Hi there, I'm Doc. Well, howdy there, neighbor. I'm Howie. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from around here, though. Well, the way I see it, this country's my home, so everybody's my neighbor. Oh, well, that's nice. 
Either way, they're calling all trespassers so better get off my property. Haha, <laughs> I'm Josh, new friend. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam. It's a local delicacy. Huh. Sure, I'll have some jerky. Clam jerky. Increases my muscle until you eat something else. I can't buy the stuff myself like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're in some of this local delicacy. If you ask me, locals are a bit weird. Okay. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii. When I got bored of the gorge trail the beach, I decided to hit trails. You rode with the rails from Hawaii? <laughs> yep. Real challenging trip from first time hobo, but I made it through all right. You ever think of going back? You only, <laughs> only got one track there, so it was a one way trip. I might have waited back and visited this about second one, though. Oh. Here? No permanent leg, but I camped here out here a few days. Oh, well, well, I used to be a bit lively, but the boss sent the railroad bull to run everyone off. Or, what bully mean the cop? Yeah, you could say that. I think he's still prowling around out back here to test your metal. I don't advise it though. Is he packing heat? No, he's unarmed, but one of your arms might make a pretty good club <laughs> once he gets it off you. Huh. Any plans for the future? Well, we're in the walls at the camp, camp form in Ocean City. I figure I'll mosey out there once the rain lets up. We're in the wall? I never heard that phrase. Is it like through the grapevine? Yeah, similar, similar. Let's see. Is that knapsack or unlugs? Oh, it ain't mine. No one's been out here since I arrived myself. No one's been able to spec back and pair the watch shut with one of those puzzles and bend out nails too water. Huh. Can't open it. I'm not moxed enough. <clears throat> one third full gas can. Oh, I got a slug? I got a something. Oh, it's a class ring. Makes everyone think you attended SIT or mugged someone who did. <laughs> Great. Can't bring yourself drinking. Might really need some coffee later. Later then. Oh, I can eat the cheese loaf to increase my moxie. I'll actually do that. Sweet. Now I'm gonna put my rusty pistol and do more damage. Big brain. I need two muscle, of course, that open. Weird plaque where Lydia was standing. Historic site. This is going to spawn 13th of October. 1908 Ford. First one, first one, four, two. Struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnes. What? So apparently we talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for 20 years. Good, swell, everything about this is great, and you aren't for regretting this trip before you even arrived. Go on about your normal non-haunted day. Well... Huh. Not gonna lie, didn't- didn't- didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna fight some, but I also wanna win. <laughs> okay, we won't fight this yet. We're gonna- we're gonna go far, far side. Okay, I guess that's as far as I can go. Oh. Take it with you. What do you want to name your- name the turtle? Um... See, what do you want to name the turtle? What are we naming him? You, you gotta- you co come up with a clever turtle name. You know what, we're calling him Shelly. <laughs> this is Shelly. Shelly the turtle, let's go. I picked him up and put him in my inventory. Each round of combat shell he heals a random wounded ally by his mysticality. Ain't bad, actually. Are you sure you're an employee? Yes. No, it's good. Oh, the place else doesn't want her to anything for me to go back there, Miss. Thank you. <laughs> Broken radio, just presumably optimized. We guess that in business. Drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. Fifth one is locked. 
I don't have any use for any of them. Shelf's full of all personal files. Subject to say on the shelf is more bitter and boring than the one you looked at before. <clears throat> Press it. Nothing happened. It doesn't have power. Can't figure that out. Oh, it's box. And advertise the box containing one fee, seven fees broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, that was right there. Old fuse. <clears throat> Release it. Click. Done. Pour it in your can. Oh, I can unpack. You shouldn't unpack your bag in a dirty gas station. Okay, fair enough. Try beating the scarecrow again. Let's start there. Yes, yeah, first. Uh, you turn a lot and play make a base attack. I kind of want to hit it with a rock. Yeah, let's rock it. Throw it. And shoot it. Yeah! Now nah, it's just a regular scarecrow with a gun. Excellent. This thing's menacing days are. Cow men crow menacing days are over. Shrek turns the world rag shoved in the way the gas cap should be full of thing. Oh. Full can of gas. I guess hypothetically that means I could go. But I don't want to yet. Not time. A recurring nightmare about searching for something in one of these. Force it open, need through muscle. Watering. No summer daughter's fishing rod. We got a fishing rod. What's the fishing rod do? Deals your muscle and physical damage. This one physical damage. Oh. There it is. You're not getting past the thing without destroying it. Here we go. Rock. Oh, this thing was easy. Boom. I was scared of that thing? You now have enough XP to learn a skill. Now open the character sheet via the icon or pressing or hit C. Rest in parts. I kinda need the muscle right now. Searching, two moxie. Wielding gloves, plus one hot armor. Neptus. You had to go up there for one for hay fever and falling out of loves fever. 130, 133% full gas can. Tell him about the ring you found. Found this old ring. Hey, it's a 
A 17 SIT rank out of the Fox Emeralds, but not a Fox Sapphire like the ones I gave in junior varsity. Pig scanners had a little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get as quite many concussions. Probably worn out by now. Is it worth anything? Nah, a jeweler and a pawnbroker like anything like that. I ain't carry gold. Hey, if you're interested in selling it. Uh, sure, 30 meat sounds fun. It's a meat as they were all. It's probably doing meat business in here. Likewise. Tell about Scarecrow. Uh, I had to beat up Scarecrow, sorry. Well, I was leaving behind anyway. Oh, boy, I'm doing the thing. Shot me with a gun. Oh, yeah, right. It's perfectly reasonable then. <laughs> Very near, man. I guess the only thing left to kill in here is the Dust Devil. Ah, the bleeding. Somebody's please to cheat. There's a stern pot, a kill, practice seven to leave Grimy spatula. Open it. Somebody left perfectly good mason jar. Full of gasoline. 166. Can I get a 200% guess? Scarving how he loves playing the harmonica. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a railroad bull how you told about, although railroad minotaur would have probably been more accurate. Halt, trespasser. Alright, let's get him. Yeet. Oh. Thank you, Shelly. Yeet. Wabang. Got him. Target down. Oh, Shelly, you're trying to go stronger. One maximum HP. Excellent. If, uh, milk crates on wheels. Oh, model oil is going to take off. Oh, it looks like the guy has a gas can. 200% full gas can. See, how do you feel about my 200% full gas can? Well, got with the railroad before you did. Lots of my service the whole boat community. I ain't got nothing to offer you as a war, but I sure won't forget this. No problem, Hattie. Where's the phone? <clears throat> Take it. Reach in and grab it. I got a crowbar. Deal muscle plus one and physical damage. What? Prying open doors. Right up one of those. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I can do with this. I know what I can do with a crowbar. I know what I can do with a crowbar. Can I? Aha! So can I sell her? Oof! Take, uh, the bulbs food, or three of them. Yes, I'm sure. Jar of gross old vegetables. Reduces an enemy's muscle, must count, and max by three when you chuck it at him. You can't know if spiders are fighting or flirting, interrupt them either way. Oh no, here they come. Oh god, plus they poison. Okay, they're pretty, kind of strong, kind of strong. Whop. Bang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might die. Uh-oh, I actually might die. I'm dead. Night. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, how do I beat the spiders? I guess I could try out the mysticality weapon. I do have that now. Oh, 
for my mysticality. It's too. Could have to try the crowbar. It might do three. Will crowbar do three or two? Hopefully it'll do three. If it does three, that might it be enough to help me win. Nope, it still does two. better just surrender here. <laughs> There's no way I'm winning that. I think the only way I win this is if Mysticality is three damage. Do I see three? Probably not. Nope, two. But yeah. There's no way I can deal with that poison. Is this my only way out? Uh oh. Wait. It's all an option here. Uh, probably make crew ladder out of bits of wood. Okay. So. Hmm. Is there really nothing else I can do here? Because I kind of don't want to leave it. There is stuff here. I don't know if there's this. Oh, wait. Shouldn't have known there weren't any fish in there. You can see the entire thing from here. Uh, uh, not quite. I'm sad because I don't want to leave this yet. Oh, wait. I can do three. I forgot I have clam jerky. I'll have to get rid of my muxy for now, which means I'm not going to be able to get everything, probably. But that should make me be able to do three. Yes. Then if I equip crowbar, I can also just equip baseball bat. But the crowbar's funnier. That'll make me be able to do three and probably kill the spiders before they kill me. Hypothetically, this should work. Uh, I might actually be able to kill this too, because I do five a turn now. Not sure, we'll have to say. I don't think I live enough though. Throw it. Prime. Yeah, no, I died. It's the bleed. Chilling, so I'm chilling and only heal so much, yeah. Well, I can definitely beat these spiders now, at the very least. So that'll do three poison. If I throw it, and then smack it. Then one dies. Poison went down to two. He's gonna hit me for five. Shell is gonna heal me for one. I'm gonna go down to like one HP. And then I kill it with stone. Kill it with crowbar, right? Yes! <laughs> so at least for your spiders, are large enough for you to see shutters. <laughs> Is there anything down here? Is that a... That was a... 
So maybe there is a way I can defeat this Dust Devil. I do have a jar of gross vegetables, so I might just yeet that at them. I think that might be the only way. Okay, so he stabs me now. Take four damage of bleed. Yeet. Okay, so now they'll only do one damage. Then I throw my rock. I hit him with the crowbar. Okay. He comes over and stabs me. Yeah. I take my, uh, get my healing. I take the bleed, like a man. Throw my rock. Then I beat him over the head. Nice. Really gave that devil its due. Tell him about the dust devil. Take care of dust devil in your bedroom. Did you now? Well, thank God. Of course, it's a bit late for my, my purposes, but the next occupants will be grateful. Hope the thing didn't rough you up too bad. Now it's a snap. Nothing, though? Hmm. I guess that's all I can do. Because without the moxie snack, I can't... Yeah, because without that extra moxie, I can't open this. And without anything, because I have no bonus to mysticality, right? Like, yeah, nothing would get me up to three mysticality that I know of. So I think everything else is just has to be done. All in all, I feel like I did pretty good, though, in covering everything. Uh... Give me some fashion sense. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come back and bust set your seat. Soon do and us send a rain splatter in the window beside you. Fortunately, it's barely approximately issue of sleep. Your sleep slipping to so gradually you don't even know you're asleep until sun wakes you up. Plunkett Street. I realize the men uh, meandering of thoughts in the past few minutes has been utterly strange. Shadowy tendrils and whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is your stop, right? There, there. It's totally now forgotten. Ugh. What? All ashore is going ashore. Thanks for driving the little bus kill. Disembark. Talk to him. Nice weather we're having. Yeah, it suits me fine as well as one one cent. Rain for a poor man in rich live like Sam Brella fronted or bore. Name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Doc. Close me each dog and have a couple meat spare? Yeah, sure. Thanks so much, Doc. Gus won't forget your kindness. Take her easy, Gus. Keep you out. Killing seems accurate. The army surplus store closed down for the night. Oh, this place I'm supposed to go. Bell over the door jingles as we enter Morris and takes the young one with the counter. Alexander, oh, it must be Doc. Don't make it a customer this time all or a little while. That's me. You're expecting me? Yes, Mary didn't say much about uh, you, but gave me an old letter in the mail. Name's Jessica. Jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on in, I'll get you a towel. Look at the counter trying not to drip any of the vintage brick and bric a brac as uh, Jessica grabs a threadbare towel from shelf, pulls it over. Pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks, is my Uncle Mori here? This letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. See in the kind of ominous way. Where is he? See, so, yes, I wish I knew. He had one line and another <laughs> on another artifact. Said it was going to be a tough one. Told him we shouldn't get him back up, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter to me and mail him if he didn't come back. Is there something missing here? There's an antique shop, right? You're trying to make. Trying to talk to Great Aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's. <laughs> Just to find something like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, it's gonna take some explaining. Well, I'm definitely intrigued now. Explain away. We don't have a lot of time now. Just follow me and I'll make it a quick sketch. Okay. Just get leaves the back room furnished with some desk and strange looking machinery. Welcome to our office, our humble <laughs> little operation. Missing operation, you're talking some other than antiques? Well, I guess no. See if you use more, I found there's a bunch of antiques circulating that way. Well, 
Hinky would be a real enemy to me. Hinky? Mori called them tainted dark magic, real bad mojo, you know, cursed. Uh, are you serious? It's no joke, that's their job here. The antique store is, well, just uh, exactly a front. We, we find a lot of regular antiques too, and sell them and keep a scratch, but really we're trying to hunt down all the evil doodads, neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Mor Moray went out to get one and never came back. That's a long st story short of it. What are, you, what are you in? Yeah, I'm up for crazy adventure. Great. You hear the shop door opening after a moment. Goblin pokes his head in the office. Well, oh, hey, small timing. Hey, Gabby. Murray's sister's kid showed up. Meet her. Hi. Uh, uh, I go by him, actually. This. I, I probably picked a girl here, and that's probably why I said that, but oh well. Look. <laughs> Hi, Gabby, please meet you. Hi, hello, the pleasure's all Gabby. You see, Gabby would like to meet you. You heard his luggage in Mori's room. I was playing his stuff out there and come. You can sleep there until I find more. You've got it. Gabby yeah, picks up a suitcase and carries it in the door of the back room. Yeah, I could really use some sleep. You're way too tired to go back on the street tonight. I might have missed something out there. Probably not, though. Desk is mess. Mori's keep nagging and destroying up before some bumps into and we call National Guard to dig in the avalanche. With curse proof shovels and squad <laughs> and exorcist handy. Anyway, best not to mess with it. Well, do I mean? I won't. <laughs> I'm sure what's collects telling, but it is sure isn't time. Jessica. Ask Jessica about it. Uh, Charles Wallace, our handyman, is fixing the leak on the roof right now, but he'll be back later tonight. I see. I have time to play games right now. Cat! Ask Jessica about it. What's the cat's name? Uh, Ca Ca Calio? Candle? No, no. <laughs> Alright, got her a few news ago. Scratch behind the cat's ears. This cat look like me. Yeah, she'll warm eventually. Try giving her some sardines. She loves those. Do you have any sardines? No, I'll let you get some more. Do I only have them full away surplus next door? Okay. Jessica, hang on a sec. Can't sleep yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, <laughs> so, so I need before. I'd be happy to help. <coughs> You know the cursed artifacts you're talking about since info is sketchy, you've been working on a machine that can detect them, detect the Tron 1000, got up and run more and more left, taint thing particularly around the store stuff. It's not great, I haven't Gabby yet, but this came over tonight, but if it's turned out below, it's no time like present. <coughs> Probably not exaggerating, I would say there's literally no time except the present. As in, there might not be a future. You won't have far to go, it's just down the other end of the block from Raiden's Rats. Newspaper office gets shut down earlier, it should be in there. Well, Gabby will go with you. She's getting a fight. Fight? Oh jeez. Yeah, hopefully it won't come to that, but you never hold. Hey, Gabby. I was expecting to create a newspaper. I'll stop go. Okay, Gabby's very fraction. <laughs> Make an excited sigh. <coughs> Alright, finally said hat. Cursed hat. Crying to the red hat. Yeah, a man's, a man's fedora. I don't know what's supposed to do. Just break it and take it? I'm not breaking it. I managed to find a finger angle Spain key. So he's still kind of breaking in a ring. He'll be fine. Say now before I do it. Let's do this. Gabby. Gab with Gabby. <laughs> find out. The door is just a brick wall behind it. Apparently it goes nowhere. <clears throat> How's it going? I should get a move on. How you doing, Gabby? Gabby has readiness for action. Chit chat. So you're a flapper, right? Haha, <laughs> yes, Gabby flaps all the time. Gabby's parent flap too and grand Gabby. It's only been a style for 70 or 80. Oh yeah, goblins. That's right, you don't live long. Depending on how you look for it, parent Gabby popped, uh, popped a year and a half ago, but this Gabby basically is that Gabby and previous ones too. Eh, it's okay, don't work too hard for it. Us goblins think human baby making is super crazy. <laughs> Gabby, it's been a few years since I spent time in Ocean State, but I don't remember it being this one down. That is a true thing to say. It used to be much more clean shiny. What happened? The economy is terrific in every, uh, every, everywhere else in the country. No ideas. Economics, not the house Gabby keeps the wheels in. Walker gums a bit more. A real firecracker and a fist fight, huh, Gabby? Haha, <laughs> Gabby likes fighting and dancing. The best two things. Gabby invented fight dancing once, but this <laughs> but this world was unready for it. Maybe 50 years later. <laughs> I really like this shitty long. Uh... Oh. <laughs> How much is there? Okay, yeah, now this is... Yeah, okay, now it's... Now it's looping. Stick through it. I got... Cheap cologne. This is your stench armor. So I buy one. Okay. <clears throat> Given the current conditions, dark and stormy, you probably wouldn't want to wander into alleys. Newspaper office key. Securibus. 
It's late, the bank is closed. I wanna go into the Securibus. The beer the left door. Oh, damn, it's the I get it. Read it. What says Robinson first to him? Carver, who's next? A variable the paper is gonna chop his desk in half. Oh, it says Tucker, I got you the bottle, you want to stuck it under the water cooler where burgers can't find it and rat us out. Under the water cooler, eh? Certainly can't hurt to check. Government corruption at all time high. The ship the government has once again slashed funding to city services, exceeding waste, uh, offering additionally anonymous sources, cuts off properly. Memories. Read the slip. Curtis, if I told you once, I've told you a hundred times, not enough people buy the paper anymore to keep your lights on, destroy electricity. Keep fighting. <coughs> Gets into it. Keep watching. He's winning. Severe storms cause trolley disaster. I'll just click through and see if I get anything. Doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of bunch of weird conditions. It would seem. <coughs> There's a half finished letter in typewriter. Originally, I think Burgess is on to us again. Careless fact, maybe we shouldn't be typing this letter instead of talking to you in person. Why are we doing this? Meet me under the water cooler this afternoon. Oh crap, here comes Burgess with pink slip. Under the water cooler? What's that all about? <coughs> and I'm playing new published Cockman theories. Clean out your desk, hit the road. P.S. Cockman, the same slang corn. I mean, so it's impossible. I think it's really gonna catch on. <coughs> Oh, I got reporter's cufflinks. Increases my mysticality. It's an accessory. So I would go with my welding gloves. My welding gloves. I can actually have more mysticality than... Because <clears throat> that would do three damage, which is basically the same as my thing. Pour it into a cup. Nasty old coffee. Increase your maximum AP by one. Ooh. <clears throat> I do like that. Uh, Carver, I can't believe I tell you this, but steal the printing press. You are fired. You're so fired. Need new phrase describing. I'm giving you the axe, and if I see your face in here, I will give you both the axe and set you on fire. <gasps> yes, but did, did, how did he even lift? You must have always had five accomplices. Unbelievable. <clears throat> a new operation manual. Oh boy. State of the art and delivery and infrastructure. And big heavy water coolant has got some to hide. Ooh, trip door. This is still some water in there, fish. <coughs> oh, I got a handful of clean water. There's an ally who's on fire. Search the wreckage. Look inside. Nasty old leftovers. Reduce an enemy's muscle must gather max by three. Look through. Look through. Ooh, hello. Nil. Hmm. It's going to have no consequence. Current. Swift based commercial automobile. Struck. Killed the first hitchhiker. Yep. We're standing inside the road. Tempting, unfortunately, for my coals. Huh. <clears throat> Nope. <clears throat> fish people. See why are there fish people in the basement? <laughs> See, do you know why there's fish people in the basement? Take paper. Underground newspaper. It's a quest item. <clears throat> it's a calendar. Take a closer look. July 22nd, 1917. Hold on. 1917. Ah, top story Dave's Ocean City controllers passing an overcomplicated sidewalk right away. So he said vending machines, limited maximum allowed of four feet, watch fly management, raise counselors. Okay. So it uh, worked out for everybody. Check it out. Uh. Consult the manual. Push the green power on button. Pull the pump and gauge lever. Adjust the suction rate according to pressure. If red indicator lays on, set the ejection data. If the blue indicator is on, suction to E. 
the green indicator is on D to abort start of press okay so I want to push green okay then I want to pull the lever yellow oh uh oh oh just section so turn the knob Consult the manual. <clears throat> okay. Push the green. Lever. Yellow. There is no yellow. <laughs> There's only red, blue, and green. The turn knob. See? Ah! And how? So sweet hand just got one you to cover. Terribly cursed fedora? Is that what it's called? Nothing good can come of this. I could equip it. I, I'm kind of tempted. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna equip it though, because I'm gonna guess it's probably like the hard hat of this game. So that's why I'm not equipping it. Oh, hello. You're new. Charles Wallace. Uh, that I am. Please meet your doc. What happened around here? General had a man, sort of stuff. I keep the lights on, the water running, built a detectatron, and uh, an and cursing machine, too. Some real high tech wizardry. Really. Yeah, it's nothing really. Let me, uh, let me ask some. Anything I can help you with? What's about the uncursing machine? Well, the built thing can tell you how it works. The innards are all wired up to a little pretty much cat figurine that Murray found somewhere. Oh, that's weird. In the traditional sense, yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Anything I can help you with? Nothing right now, Charles. I found the hat, I found a hat, and I'm guessing it's something it didn't look unusual though, yeah. Well, it does creep me out a bit, I can't really pull a finger on why, I know what I mean, it feels kind of like I had a headache, except you don't really. I feel like feeling dread, like something terrible is about to happen, but I don't know what yet. Even though I really the fact I need you to take, take the hat and go sit in the machine over there, oh why? It's an cursing machine, gotta get the curse out of the hat. Oh yeah, it makes sense, but uh, what? Can you just put the hat in the machine? Why do I need to be involved? Because machine needs a mind to guide the incursing process. Together you left the curse in the hat and transform it into a sort of... Allegorial dream space that the machine can transfix. Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, how me to rephrase. Mm -hmm. The cursed machine uses your subconscious mind to drive a wedge between the item and its curse. The item is clen cleansed relatively easy, but doesn't negate the curse fully. Once separated from the item, the machine starts curse and allows you to physical. <coughs> I'm dying. Ugh, we're running out of water. The core of existence, that's where things get a little weird. Yeah, I know, so that's cracks, but you have to give it a try to understand. See if anyone wants to play. Uh, anyone want to play chess? No, I may never learned. Jessica? Sure. Jessica sits down. And Jessica moves her queen. How to respond? Hmm. Two <laughs> sleaze armor? The bishop's lingerie play? What? Hmm. <laughs> Develop one of my pawns. Check out the smooth of night. The pawn's toilet technique. Your position tonight. So now you capture so many rooks. How do you respond? The haunted pawn defense. Hello, queen. Rats, check me. Damn. I think I need some of those hidden techniques. Sitting it. Uh, terribly for cursed fedora. Uncursed fedora. No sooner you sound down the machine, and the hiss positive voice for straight into the dome. The <laughs> That rattles angrily like snake and cement mixer. Perfect. Now how, do, now how do I get rid of the curse? Hmm, see, the curse is like energy deck. The energy creator is stored only change. Can't remember who said that. Isaac Newman. Newton? Newton. Newman. Yeah, the machine knows how to take, take a curse from one object, put it on itself. But as for the change curse, well, I don't know. That's some higher consciousness spirit 
spiritualist stuff. Don't know much about it then. I'm more of a Newton Newman kind of guy. Fenora's curse bounces around the innards of this machine, daring you to come project your consciousness inside of it. So I'm safe, I'll do that. <laughs> Felled before it's time, the ground stained with sin. Thou know who I am and why I'm here. I cut it, there has been a mord. I know if a mord, not mord is all. Three of brothers, one of us always tells the truth, one of us always lies, the third of us does not speak in at all, but honks. Find ye thee a liar, there is nothing to do but. Who deceive thee, high cutter thou servant for what must be here branches? What the fuck is happening? Speak to the first tree. I say do not do the mord, I also say I'm one of three brothers, one of us always tells the truth, one of us always lies, and the third one does not speak at all but honks. Big power in the wood today today cutter. I a tree has fallen in the forest and has made a sin, but I'm but not me a sinner, that I assure thee. Without claim, without sin, none of us are without sins, but mine who do not run the more than whos look for my brother. Uh, uh. Thy brother speaketh of three brothers. This is not fairy talk, no big honkin' land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. No honkin' since then, no sire. Something in rotten wood to color, a eh, moored. Provision at source. And nothing to say, for I did not tear with them. What do you tell me? I'm troubled to the more, but I think of it, I know... I know no nothing. I warn thee, my forgetfulness. Makes no room for liars. Thou will not do what they must, Cutter. I have no doubt. That brother speaking of three brothers. His lies, one who has told truth, and one who is not speaking at all, but honks. Look at speaking of these. No honks, sire, I swear his planet. Never has honkins. No, never. Just in my eyes. Speakins. Where speakins three brothers? It's fairy talk. No thing has honkin' in this land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. Thou lie about honkin'. What say? Thy brothers honk not, thou wouldn't lie to the cutter of the wood, thou wouldn't do more in the wood, I thou f have the right to it, I sought only to discretion thee whilst I make my escape. Goodbye, Cutter. Do not run from me, tree. Thou do not run. Now I have grown in a hundred years. I will have grown tall and strong. Thine axe will never fall on me. I will not wait a hundred years. Die, mortar. Huh. I'm big around in the wood today, Cutter. And wait, what? No, that's not you. You don't talk to that. Dark thoughts of trees, axes, and bloody sap cling to your skin. You shake them off like dreadful cobwebs. You're not sure it just happened, but as you tear from the window of a cursed door in your hands, you feel confident the curse is plagued. A starchy little f felt thing is finally gone for good. You put the hat back on. It nearly sparkles now. Upgrade. You begin to reckon whether it's kind of guy who goes around wearing a fedora. I love it. Nice hat. <laughs> Increases my muscle and maximum HP. Well, now my muscle is like really good. Okay, time to re-equip the crowbar. Crowbar's coming back out. <laughs> you know what? No. Fishing rod. <laughs> How'd it go? Uh, yeah, it worked, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't like I had some crazy dream. There was a woodcutter. That was me, I guess. And talking trees, and one of them had sinned. You know what? Never mind. Some kind of crazy dream is plenty for me. Okay, good. This. Look at the Oh, it's coincidence. I was looking for old clothes and heard more, and just could talk about mysterious things and get some adventure smell. Huh. Your room. Shelf and knickknacks. There's an old rag all type of shelf must have been left by a curious attendant.
Well, I guess it's time to unpack and get some sleep. No time to get unpacked. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> you stand with the players, but it's, it's a total loss. Everything you own has been reduced to ash. Everything? Everything except a bizarrely stand for Murray's letter. You stand for Murray's letter. It's a quest item. Well, I have lost everything. Has the television turned on? Fortunately, no shows have been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I guess, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. A dream about school. This dorm bed is so uncomfortable. It's poster my favorite literary ghost. That's people in the hallway. Seems... Hello, how's it going? You know it's Locker's mind. I can't remember much of Locker's mind. Sorry, I don't know. That's all right. I'll figure it out eventually. <clears throat> nice faces you got there. Do you know it's Locker's mind? I can't remember. Let's check out the first one. Uh, Thriving Colony of Ants. Check out the second one. Full of peanut butter. Check the third one. Contains Tiny Shrine to Babe Ruth. Check the fourth one. Poor Fox Empty. Fifth one. Well, the cookbooks, but they're all in French. The sixth one. Opens to a vast, uncaring emptiness of space. You still managed to check quickly as to not suffocate. Seventh one. There, there isn't a seventh one. I said check seventh one. I said there's only six lockers. Seventh one now. Hey, geez, look at the seventh locker. It's filled with old school papers. Look at the papers. They all got your name on them. They're your papers. Read one. I spent my summer by Doc Umbra on age six. Someone who visited Uncle Mori. Uncle Mori is funny. He knows magic. I had fun time with Uncle Mori at the end. Look under the papers. <laughs> Underneath the, the pile of li school papers you find. Ugh. Overdue library book. <laughs> it's a quest item. found her. So it looks friendly, talk to her. Oh, it must be uh, Doc Umbreon, Doc Umbreon. Yes, Doc Umbreon. I'm your academic advisor, so I'm choosing a class by drop down. In real life, certainly, you must however choose a class. Okay. And it looks like there are three classes for you to choose from. There's advanced kicking and throwing, this calls for pig skinners. But the overview of curd conjuring, this class is for cheese wizards. And finally, weird time signatures. This course is for jazz agents. I want to be a jazz agent. <laughs> so, that is, yes. Jazz agent, please. I'm interested in being a jazz agent. Masters of scintation and improvisation. Jazz agents use their rhythm and moxie to move through the world in style and combat the attack with subtlety, weakening their enemies and stacking the odds in their favor over time. That's, that sounds like what I want. Alrighty, you're a jazz agent. Name's Umbreon. Doc Umbreon. Uh, now that you're minor... Uh, now that there's just a minor matter of your minor, it looks like you're already completed, but it doesn't say what you studied. Insectology? Psychology of rocks? Sci cryptobotomy? Insectology. Ah, an insectologist. So you're an expert on bugs, the birds, and the bees, and such. Yes, except for the birds part. Insectologist. <laughs> Gather crafting ingredients from insects. Okay. <clears throat> well, that I believe we're done. Feel free to uh, come and go about your day. How would I go about doing that? Just to close the door on the right side of the screen. I mean, the right side of the dream. Just go through the door. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Go through it. How long have I been streaming or recording for? One, <laughs> I said streaming. I meant recording. You know what I meant. Whoa, good morning. My room. Whoa. Look at it all, see? Look at all this new stuff. Look at all that stuff.
air of mystery. That gives me spooky armor. Act earlier in fights. AP regen. Ranged damage. Two, two times materials from gathering. Bend the truth for fun and profit. Bamboozle. <clears throat> I can have rhythm in my blood. Perks. I got new perks. Insectologist. <clears throat> How do you feel knowing I'm an insectologist? How do you feel knowing I insect from time to time? <clears throat> now I kind of sleep. Why are you wearing those wet clothes? All my other clothes burned up in a freaking freak luggage fire. Oh, geez, that's weird and unfortunate. You seem less surprised than I would expect. We've gotten <laughs> accustomed to weird and unfortunate stuff happening around here. If I get some clothes in the shop out front, if you don't mind looking like some guy's dusty old grandpa, I'll be alright. Thanks anyway. <clears throat> well, once you've gotten sleep out of your eyes, got another mission for you, another curse building? Yeah, I've heard. Had my eye on it for a while, but keeps moving around. Most of the rings put in the local speakeasy at the back of the alley and the other end of the block. The artifact isn't there right now, but that's where I'd start looking. Maybe you could pick up some clues? Okay, what am I looking for? Appears to be a uh, watch of some kind, or maybe a wristwatch? Can't be certain. Watch is speakeasy. In the alley. Got it. Anything else? We need password for speakeasy. It's also... it's fiddlesticks. Also, let me give you this to-do list. It's enchanted. Always shows whatever's written on the chalkboard here. Pretty neat. Here's some meat for expenses. The army surplus door next door should have anything because things get rough. That's ominous, but thanks. Nothing. Okay. Still just bricks so odd. Chapter one. Ugh. Welcome to Ocean City, and it only took an hour. I gab. Should probably check out the surplus store. Introduce myself. And it was done. Hello, fellow war enthusiast. I'm Herschel. Herschel Wood. Uh, heck yeah! War, war, war! That's what expression doesn't change. Can I just do any fine historical memorabilia? Ask about the dubious grenades. <laughs> Let's see what's for sale. Cola wears gas mask. Cola wears have ha haversack. Helmets. Calvary saber. D <laughs> Dented bugle. I, I kind of want the dented bugle. Field manual. Okay, that's a combat skill. Ugh. Mm. I want the dented bugle. And... Hey, give me the field manual here. Oh, I need to upgrade it? If you... There's an appendix full of charts and frequencies which the bones will shatter if you play them loudly enough. You can memorize it if it took time. Huh. Well, I can't upgrade it. Yeah. Let me do a library book. You didn't feel like reading when you come to grad school. Don't feel like reading it now. Okay. Let me equip my dented bugle. It's time to... It's time to jazz. Ask about the dubious grenades. Oh, they're probably fine. What's the uh, box? Fine grenades then. So, how do you like to do some free literature? Sorry, why not? Dubious war grenade. Let's try them out next time we get in a fight. You'll know when you're all done. Come back, tell me how it wants. Okay. So, I want to use some gr dubious grenades. Oh, I can still go in here. Neat. I go on the bank. Uh, what about the four locks? 1928. Spend a liberal fantasy. Not a bad idea. If you're gonna lift the welcome mat, you know what you're looking for first. A key? How to. So. The, how much. Do I? How much stuff can you find under. <laughs> Just key the bank's front door, as it turns out. The secretary is inconsistent. Use the key. Whoa. 
The door's locks are modeled after the monstrous mugs of the Great Hound Cerberus, three-headed guardian of the underworld's banking sector. One of the heads has a name, Felix, Methphon, and Sneaky Pete. Unlock Sneaky Pete. That's strange, the key turns over and lock, nothing happens. Something sneaky about Pete, alright. Unlock Methphon. Key fits in the hole, alright, but a labyrinth is cylinder. You turn and turn to hear a click after click, but nothing results. Unlock Philax. The head of Philax key is easy enough, but it offers incredible resistance when you try and turn it. it seems to have to use all 12 labors just to get this thing going. Okay. <clears throat> so it's stat checks. <clears throat> so it's a way of keeping me out until I'm stat checked. That makes sense. It shouldn't be too hard. Can I get hit? <laughs> Kinda. Maybe it's just uncanny trash to if I'm a serious looking door. Knock. Uh, <laughs> four fiddlesticks? Okay, come on in, but you better not be pro -y. I'm not. Scout's honor. <laughs> Speak easy, friend. Don't bother him, he's bouncing. Milky eyed son. Buy him a drink. Uh, distilled uh, to its essence, like what uh, has been. I think I see. Wait, that's a spittoon. Spittoon has been placed in a really challenging height. Maybe you can ask the bartender about it some other time. No, no, that was one of the best parts. I need to. I need to find. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> hello. Hey, hello. Welcome to all of this place. My name's Duck. Whatever you say, baby. <laughs> Well, heck no, I'm fancy, I'm, I'm fancy Dan the Cocktail Man. Please meet you, Dan. Hey, do you happen to know what time it is? Perhaps because yeah, I'm washing you. Sorry, baby, the only ones around here is scared with <laughs> all of good luck. He left now. We're going to pick up the latest shipment of hooch. From who? From from who, baby? Before I was fancy Dan the Cocktail Man, I was fancy Dan the Angus Teacher. For, uh, sorry, from whom? The mob guys you always get it from. Uh, uh where's the handoff? <clears throat> Old refrigerator factory. Let's see, how do I get there? Cocktail napkin hands it to you. <laughs> Wrong napkin here. Napkin on the back, different one, with a couple icons. Take the, take the napkin? Mapkin? Ocean City ma napkin map. <clears throat> Located Plunkett Street. Located Fridge Factory. Thanks, Dan. Don't mention it, baby. Want to drink for the road? First one's on the house. Sure. <laughs> what do you have to drink around here? Beer? I'll have a beer then. Excellent. Give things to this. Bottoms up. Beer buzz. Have another drink. I'll have a beer then. Bottoms up. Have another drink. I'll have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I only order a drink? I want the spittoon. Ask Dan about it. Here we go. Hey Dan, is your spittoon is kind of inconvenient. Nah, nah, baby. It's in for spitting in. That's gone out of style. Mass produced cigarettes are readily available anyway. No one needs a bona fide historical artifact. That's right. Belonging to famous adventure from Frisco just before the turn of the century. Really? Who? Nobody knows exactly for sure. I think it belonged to Muffler Fumperdink. It's a strong theory because if there's one thing we know about that cat, it's the love spittoons. What other people say it belonged to a fellow by the last name of Thurlian? A lot of people claim belong to a whole lot of other people. But well, there's one thing we know about Spittoon. Whoever it was, it didn't use a spin into. It wore as a hat. <laughs> what? You <Ew>, gross. <laughs> right? That's gotten some weird stuff back then. Yeah, no kidding. I want the Spittoon. I want it, dude. <laughs> no. I don't get my Spittoon. What is this? Fisherman from the lunch probably basement. <clears throat> hey, remember you from the tube? I bet be the better off the clock. I didn't realize he could talk. Say anything, Dickens, Flabber, Bones. Uh, why can tell me about Dickens? I think his book's too long. You can tell me about Flobber. I think his book's too long. Why can tell me about Bronzes? I think his book's too long. What, uh, what books are the right length? None. Okay, this was helpful. Enjoy your drinks. Let's get this guy's hitting those spoons together. He's got to scare about anything, so it's baseline. So if he's dancing a different song than other people, this guy's infected with the Charleston fever. <laughs> a piano trills a tune. Things making ethereal music with the spirit filled glasses. See what's in there? Gauze pads and activated shark briquettes. Strange symbols, grab them with four tiles. The rival's the first date, you shouldn't bother them. 
Open it. Won't probably just be blurred from the other side. No spittoon though. It's sad. Oh yeah, the, yeah, look at this. I do have a map now. Oh, I can wander. Let's go. Wander. So no, no, I see first time in it. Yeah, that's right. What have we got in here? Oh, to be honest, seems a little run down. Yes, Gabby understands. A nice motion before economy happened. Lots of people, very excitement. Oh, have you heard about Boardwalk? Yeah, it's cat wearing... It's like a cat wearing pajamas. What? It has games there and a fortune teller. That does sound like a, a cat wearing pajamas. Go check it out. I, I love how it actually has the napkin on it. Doctor. Hey there, I'm Doc. I'll at least meet you, Doc. I'm Dusty. I can see that. <laughs> hey, a lot of mean new people in the travel so I got a burn reserve kings. So what are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Just hanging around. I was gonna run the three car three car Monty down by the board like that didn't pan out. Why not? Well, there's already a fellow running the game down away and prefer not to step on his toes. It's just a matter of professional courtesy, you see. Also, because it gets really scary. <laughs> Dev out the kind of thing, and I ain't looking to be murdered anytime soon. And I'm like, oh, well, that's really kind of. I was thinking of looking for a different corner. If you could spare a nickel and a cup of joe to get my feet moving, give her the meat. Thanks, pal. You're a real good egg. She gives a jaunty way and wanders off. Alright then. Pop inside. <clears throat> oh my god. Complain about the price. <laughs> Go inside. There's a bit more bills, man, bucks. Oh, you yeah, ain't jumping on juice. Baby, where have you all been, my love? Excuse me, that face is no exact face I've been looking for. Perfect. Things are going rather attached to it myself. Hey, you're funny too, baby. I love you. You're incredible. Listen, you know who I am? It's Tony F Fiasco, half photographer. That's right, baby. That's exactly right. And as soon as I'm going to be the biggest photographer in the city, no, the country, the world, but the sun I need first. Face? Portfolio. And you know what I need before I get a portfolio? A face. Your face, baby. Well, I, uh. Don't say no. Don't you dare say no. Listen, it's. It's all, uh, it's all gonna be, it's just strolling, uh, just strolling here wearing a hat, and all I'm gonna do is take a photograph of the hat. The wolf gonna be rich, rich, with my portfolio, 30 meat, I'm gonna pay, pay for every picture. Hell well, gotta be a hat, so gonna be a different hat every time. Can't pay nothing for the same hat twice, got it? Okay, how about this hat? What an uncursed fedora, perfect, I love it. Here's a meat baby, spend it in good health and come back soon, okay? Sweet. Gonna stay in under shade until the glazing you silently. Games. Talk to the attendant. All stats plus 10 meat. No thanks. First aid, see what's for sale. Flute music is the best medicine. Soothing flute, heal on always by. Ooh! It looks like it's pretty good. I would like that eventually. I'll come back for that. Oh, it's a long pier, but you don't want to even walk over. Fish? I got a fish in a sack. I'll just sell it. Continue fishing. Fish in a sack. Ooh, crusty ring. The sack. <laughs> Bucket of chum. Increase your mock spell one. Okay. Well, what about a fish in a sack? Oh, haunted clam. This clam has seen deeper and darker things. <laughs> I fucking delicious oyster. Ooh. Increase your sleaze armor by five. Fish in a sack. Fish in a sack. Fish in a sack. Oh, I've got everything that was here. Wait, I can your fishing game. Let's go. Oh no, let's just practice my fishing. I guess I did get everything. See, does that make you feel like a fish in a sack? <laughs> I don't know. See, does it? <laughs> Are you here, by the way, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. D does that make you feel like a fish in a sack? Hey, the fellow in your dock, I'm Travis Spencer. How do you know my name? Oh, we hope it was all tight knit in the little community when someone's helping out. Word gets around. It's nice, a little creepy though. But about when does the visitor camp? Where is it? Oh, come on, night time. I want to go to the hobo camp. Let's go to the hobo camp. Say, though, would you like to purchase a set of encyclopedias? Hell no, absolutely not. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, god no, hell no, absolutely not, and no. Good options, good options. I'll go with hell no. <gasps> I thought you might say that in a shamble, in a shamble, what if it taught us no one order in such plate to think it's like something to sell me? So, likely a certain step a little closer here. Yes, ma'am. Take a step towards you. Surely shocking Joe's complete set. Good sleaze armor, but it's 200 meat and I can't afford it. No thanks. See, the book just don't want people to buy it. Oh, people, I don't just don't want it. I'll find you later, somewhere more private. Slowly back away from him. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, if it isn't that, I kinda see. Ned's getting concerned about Hobo Camp turned out to be level. Oh, sure, Hobo Co's pretty trustworthy. It's a trustworthy rule. Pretty good again, the harmonica, Howie. Thanks, you know my secret? Sure, have it. I have only one hobby, and it's time for the world practice it. <laughs> Washboard. Yeah, I love fast stacks to her makes. Pretty good. I bet someday I'll be fancy electrical machines to do really good. Till then, though, folks call me Washi, by the way. Hi, huh, Washi, I'm Doug. Actually, I don't got nothing to say. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem here. See you around. Probably shouldn't mess around here. Don't want to wake people up. Grub. Yeah, they had to call him 52 Teeth Thompson. Or just 52 for short. Oh, so because he have two white keys on the piano? Nope. That's about his piano. Oh, uh, wow. It's like I didn't have to find a piano at camp. Oh, I brought some paper with me. On foot, how? Well, it took a few trips. <laughs> Docular. That's me, your name was Doc. Got it. Oh, it's Dusty. I like the camp. It's nice, everyone's real personable. <laughs> He's got a guy in the room. Hey! Hey, Doc, I believe what's it? That's right. It's a pleasure to have another run in with friendly friends. Nice and rain cleared out. It's nice and doing Joe Rain, but I enjoy your dry clothing. So I have to have a guy comfortable in this way. Yeah, I do my best. Can't do it. Can after all. Gosh. <laughs> There, oh, I must be new here. I don't think I've seen you around. Name's Doug. Letters Mc McCabe. Is there anything to assist with? Why do they call you letters? Micro Pops Jake. Hobo Code. You familiar with it? Oh my gosh. Carved in the Fence Post set. Ooh, it's pretty interesting. Is there anything to assist with? It's book you're reading. It's Hobo Code Manual. Sure, sounds useful. Oh, I got Hobo Literacy. You can now understand some Hobo Glyphs. Neat, thanks. What's the stuff in the room? This is a little bored time of conversation. Feel free to point a particular object you want to ask about. I'm always happy to be informative. I'm gonna see you later. Old Naval Radio. Sign it. Ask a letter about it. Old shoes, you're welcome to them. Take them. Heavy boots. Oh, weigh your feet down. The boots. That's about 50 pounds of metal reinforcement on them by now. It's a ham radio. Well, some stuff about ham. <laughs> can I can I move? Oh, <laughs> there we go. This is the quality gameplay we're looking for. <laughs> Manuals, various types of codes and ciphers. Okay. I hope a lady I haven't met yet. Hello, no, lad, dear. Don't fit some Veronica. Hello, Doc. Can I have a cup of tea? It's called the spe speak. Uh, can you teach me any hobo code? Certainly, dear. In fact, I think I stole notes from when I was learning it myself. Oh, I've learned more hobo code. I like your hat. Thank you. I grew it myself. I have a whole thing. Tried some socks as well, but they're much thicker. I can imagine. And made tinfoil crown the crown gate. Give it away, I presume? Yep. Oh, you're absolutely correct. I'm hobo king. Well, let's foster a family heir. but Johnny. Let's be true. I got a question. Can you teach me some hobo code? Yes, according to the hobo code, I am course first must test you. Convince me of your worthiness and I'll grant you a boon. Uh, I'll be back on you later. Where can I, where are you from? Hobokin. Of course you are. Can... You're not just World Telephone, really. I said I was going to say, you say that. Can you teach me some hobo code? Here, yeah, student of letters. So, uh, glad to help. 
First ring cleared up. Okay. Got any tips for hobo code? Yes. I'm learning hobo code. Speaking hobo code, can you teach me any? Hey, 52, no any hobo code. I'm learning. Hey, what's up, my guy? No any hobo code. Again. Oh, I warmed my hands. I didn't know I could. Warm hands gives me cold armor. Have you turned territory Glockens in? Don't know what a Glocken is. Me, we Glockens, we both are the toughest, strongest. Sure, you do look pretty tough. That's true. If we do it, oh, well, I gotta fight him. Finally, a fight. You're strong. Oh boy. So not on my turn. <laughs> my ultimate musical move. He took out Shelly, my friend. Oh, so we got Pow. Yeah, but we heal our allies. Right, we gotta go to him with a Pow. Bam. <laughs> I'm the music man. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oof. Ooh, Globkin Hosen? A Globkin Mallet Ball. Deal physical damage and reduce target's moxie by three. Prove the sound of your footsteps. Sprinkle Glocks. My turtle grew stronger. Ooh, go check it out. St. Poly, Poly, Polycorps? St. Polycorps Cathedral. What is this gonna be? <laughs> I like these. I like these ones. <laughs> the little... It's pretty good. This is a good one. Oh, I can haunted, open the Haunted Clam. Eldritch Mist. Sorry about your life, Clam. Well, I now have Eldritch Mist. Oh, translate it. The code says meat stash fourth tree to the left, church, back row. Interesting. Fourth tree to the left. I'm on the right. One, two, three, four, back left. Oh my god, there's an old wallet. <laughs> That actually worked. Oh. oh my god. Hobo code OP. I, I'm glad I know how to speak hobo. Is that a bibble? Is a you know, book in the back of the key grab it? Unpleasant high middle. Oh. Crack it open to deal your muscle and spooky damage once per fight. Ooh. I'll equip that. It's kind of cool. Sure. A handful of holy water. <laughs> Talk to him. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, uh Scout's Honor. And one of the urns in stone with catacombs stolen. The tiny cathedral has catacombs, so it's a lot nicer than the basement and the particularly important ashes. Uh, I'll look into it for you. Oh, thank you. Alright. Read it. It's guest book. Ooh. Sign the book. 
<laughs> you send your name and address all the others. Defense pedestal and nothing on it. Spare urns. Oh, I could light this if I had a match. This <laughs> is. Oh, sure, the walls has been here. Interesting. I'm out yet. Alright. It's probably has something to do with that unlit candle, if I had to take a guess. What the? Okay. Give me a wallet. No. Oh! Oh! Had to use the whirling wrench. I'm intimidated. But not that intimidated, and you know why, see? Because I can do this. <laughs> and then. Boop! <laughs> uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> How does. <laughs> Spooky damage. I just pointed at the book. A grease gun deals your moxie plus two and sleaze damage. Ooh, get sleazy. The rock is steaming. Ambola? No. Uh. Let's go inside. Probably shouldn't barge in. Knock knock. Mm -hmm, who was it? Um. I'm the milkman, got your milk. I ain't drink fat water, get lost. Selling fine leather jackets. I'm from the missile <laughs> sparrow. Uh, congratulations, you won a sweepstakes. I'll come back later. <laughs> hmm. I guess I can't get in here yet. Oh, more people to fight. Sink the welder. No, don't torch my turtle. <gasps> Oof. My turtle. My turtle, no! You killed my turtle. And now, I will do it on your wrench. Ready for it. Boom. Now, for you. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, investigate the chop shop. I like the chop shop. <laughs> you managed to sneak up in Tin uh, Lizzie's hideout without anyone noticing you aren't going anywhere to stay folks for long. This place crawling with Lizzie's unless you first move to turn tail and run, I guess. Hmm. Investigate. A prototype car freshener. Thank you. I'm gonna gonna do it on the wrench. Well, then I hit you with a dude. Then I'll hit you with a smack. And that's how we win these. 
fancy knee pads. Add plus one sleaze armor to a pair of pants. Nice. They'll never hear me coming, you know? Greasy gloves. Physical armor to a pair of pants. And then all. Oh, Apply three bleeding. Fishing rod. I'm fishing in the barrel. Is there actually going to be a fish in the barrel? A filthy rag. Slap an opponent with a dealing <laughs> dealing your muscle and stench damage once per fight. Okay. Continue fishing. Grease your wrench. Ooh, deals your muscle and sleaze damage. Hand washing gasoline. Increase the damage of your magical weapon attacks by three until you use another push. I think this might be one of those opportunities where it is just better to go outright for a kill. So that is what I'm going to do. That's, that's game. <laughs> I got hard targeted. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done for. Turtle doesn't heal enough. Goodbye. <laughs> oh wait, fight still goes on? Fight still goes on, but I don't think Gab's got the power. Yeah, no, Gab can't win this. Gab, no! My turtle does nothing. He's just gonna. No, turtle. No. No. <laughs> the poor boy. <laughs> there, there, there goes Shelly. Aloof. I increased my moxie though by one, which is kind of big. Come back here. We'll, we'll wander a bit more. Maybe get some more EXP. Want one spearman candy? Increase damage your ranged weapon attacks by one. What about you? We can't leave it in the mailbox. Walk over to talk to him. It's Marvin. Talk to him. Hi, I'm Marvin. Hi, Marvin. I'm Duck. What are you doing up here? Stunt. What a stunt? It doesn't seem particularly stunty. You're just sitting there. Been here for 7 months, 15 days, 9 hours, and 41 minutes. Why? Why? It's a stunt. Okay, but you're protesting something? You're trying to attract attention of some kind? Nope. Do you have any money riding on this? Is it for a bad contest? Nope. I feel like you don't get the concept of a stunt. It's not. Uh, sure, what's up? Snack cakes. Can you go grab some more food for me? Snack cakes, are you serious? Some other acquired taste. It's grocery. Yeah, I'll be right back. Who's there? Uh, Doc. Doc who? So I don't know your name. Doc, come around. Damn. It's gotta be a name combo there. Yeah, I think these are like, you need to know like certain name combos. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I can't. Don't have enough. You know it. A single shoe. Check for a second one. <laughs> so it's individual silly walks now. And it's a pretty good one, not gonna lie. Oh, I kinda like my dingy shoes. Where, where are my dingy shoes? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Yeah. <laughs> right open. Dig through it. Lip balm. And I'm sure unless, unless, but wait, it's not fun. Oh, what? Search it. Look behind the counter. Location is Shackles Mill Factory. Okay. Grab them. I got the barbecue toes. Deals your mysticality and hot damage. Ooh. Hey, I'm looking for him, guys. Store one standing here the whole time. What are you doing here? Staying away for what? Still thinking of finding gonna find any work here. Got some meat. Good luck. Oh, guess I'm going to the Schnackle Mills. Do city's halls job for it. Insecto. Very large mosquitoes. Well, okay. Freelance extermination work. Pay yourself with a bunch of blood scissors. Get the bottom of your shoe after you're done. Okay. So I got some hectic Igor. Grab some cases for Marvin. Case of snackle cakes. Squirm through. Looks like the band factory's been occupied by one of those city's various gangs and street hoodlums named the Doughboys. They're hanging out here in case leather jackets and white aprons, bragging about their sourdough starters and using rude words like fuck ya and son of a brioche. Or they were until you made a huge racket getting in here and now they're starting to throw a story. Staring knives at you and also pointing knives at you. And they're bread knives, which are serrated so you don't really want to get stabbed with one. Get past them. Ah, they have sleaze damage and high of a kill me. Thank you. Oh, these guys are strong. Or the this guy is. Which means I probably want to take out the tossers. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to use these grenades. I'm sad. They killed Shelly. But did you just heal him? You. <laughs> oh, he only took one. Moxie's still OP in this game. Let's go.
freshly baked roll. And some clammy <laughs> dough globs. Wait, what? A mound <laughs> of loose sugar. Oh god, there's more of them. Office. There sure is a lot of flowers to them. Oh. That hurt. Physically and mentally. Okay, hold on. Oh. This is bad. I don't think I live this. I I, I think I think this kills me. load of damage coming in on me. No, Gabby. I need to heal, Gabby. Gabby. <laughs> I did it. I healed Gabby. I really was gonna hope that just stayed there the entire time. That would have been funny. Oh, Gibby. Absolutely duty upon. We left those doughboys in the dust. I now have 30 on this button. Oh, expired flower. Mana enriched flower. Miscellaneous chemicals. Seafoods. Uh, cancel. Basic foods. Huh. Nothing for now. Go into the boss's office. Leader of the Doughboys, identifiable. <laughs> the fact that he has the greatest greasier hand, more riveted jacket than the other Doughboys, not for the fact that his manager's office doesn't make you notice in there appears. Several large pills and wet red dough lying on the ground around him. <laughs> Approach him. Who the hell are you? Yourself. Now come, bird, you are a morales doughman. Best big and sitting nice mate. Now get out. Keep chatting with him. I'm doing all this puzzle well, now, not in business, park of the fine recipe of bread with golden soon gonna be run this town, oh yeah, you know what I mean, but I have bread golden soon, now think probably shouldn't let you get away with this. Ew, he'll be like my arms and legs, rise, my minions, rise. Oh, uh oh. Bread golems. No, why the turtle? No. He killed my turtle. Oh, they're not that strong. They die in like two hits. How strong is he? He's 20. Okay, so I should probably focus bread golems. Oh no, 
of the bread. Oof. She really hurt. Oh my god. Amidst the spiors of healing. I'm gonna. Got him. <laughs> no more healing. Just enough. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, plus one mysticality pants. Man enriched flour. And my shelly grew stronger. Looks like those golems are only half baked. What a what a joke. We have to throw it. Dope baby recipe. Aha. Read. It calls for three cups of man enriched flour mixed with something called sandwich keem baked in an arcane oven. Huh. Fancy foods. Don't think I have the ingredients, so I'll save it. Anyway, I can now go back to Marvin. Oh, I guess I'll go around it. Wow. Yeah, his muscle increased by one. Ooh. Yeah, we got what you need. 100 meat. Expert sitter. Plus one moxie. <laughs> it's really good. Anything that increases moxie as is just really good. Because I'm already doing crazy amounts of moxie damage. Being able to do even more. Whoa. One, one? Yes. Oh, thank you. Oof. Eavesdrop on them. Lean in. Get what they want. That's a lot of them. I got a tentacle though? Where did this tentacle come from? Why is this tentacle? Tentacle buddy. Okay, well, I guess I won't question him. He's just here, I guess. Definitely won't take you out. You're a big threat. I do believe I'm on fire. Uh oh, grease gun. Uh oh. Gabby might. Gabby might not make it another turn. Gabby, no. everyone alive. Okay, time to take these two out. With a bam, and a little bit of... <laughs> Shelly tanks those. Under a bit more. 
or no? Oh. <laughs> Another fight. Actually doing some decent work now on these guys. So I was gonna place the chop shop. Ooh. Yes. It's a deal. Hey, and I got a salesman. I don't know what I traded out for those, but I do not mind. What what accessory is this? An accessory. I think I got rid of my gloves. So that's fine, because that's just more raw damage. And I think you understand how much raw damage is important in here. There we go. Rhythm in my blood. Oh, Gabby's Flap Slap now does the three additional damage. Okay. Now I should be able to own... Assuming I don't instantly get caught on fire. And my turtle doesn't instantly get slapped with a wrench. And he uh, he's gonna heal himself. Yeah, oh. So I should be able to instantly kill this guy, right? With this? Yeah, eight. So that's an instant kill, so I should just weaken someone, soften someone up. Soften you up. And you? You're gonna get duded out of life. <laughs> my turtle. <laughs> you smacked my turtle. Uh oh, you smacked me. Wait, Gabby does seven now. We should have softened up the eight person. Oh well, that was a mistake. Oh well. Let's flap slap him. Get flap slapped. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ooh, it's gonna really, really gonna hurt. Uh oh. Am I gonna live? Am I gonna live? <sighs> Barely. heal to keep myself alive there. Yeah, no, if I did not heal, I was dead as hell. That's fine, because the fight ends here. Nice. Shelly gained even more max HP. No way. Grab it. A welding mask. Physical armor and hot armor. As much as I hate the look of it, it's better than my fedora right now. Oh. <sighs> nice entrance, thanks. Nice chair. Oh, nice. Now who the hell are you? you so politely? I'm Doc Over. Nice to meet you. Really right, sweet. I'm Big Liz. Big Liz, Stu Baker, and boss of this gang. Makes sense. Uh, I want to join your gang. I wonder gang stop attacking me in the street. Um, don't really have a particular goal in mind. So, 
You just want her here to beat my girls up for no rest, so I go home with a side room. Tell you what, I guess it's fair. Maybe my girls are slash, so it's respect, so I'll grant you a boon. Boon? Like a favor? Yeah, within reason. How do I know this is some kind of trick? It's not a dragon adjustment because I'm sitting on Crescent Throne and the meat because everything I say automatically true. Well, I like the boom. Kinda, yeah, it's a higher chain commander around here. Neat. Anyway, say so a melon meat. What? That's. <laughs> what if I say I'm black right? It's the magic just for being good learners. Kind <laughs> of stupid ways. Maybe get one wish, what will it be? More, you cannot wish for more wishes. Nuts. I wish you'd call up your girls. I wish for prizes. I wish to join a gang, wish to fight I wish to sit in your swell chair. I'm between prizes and sitting in the chair. <laughs> mm. I wish... I want to sit in the chair. Nope. Oh, come on, just for a second. The boss to lose. That stinks. Oh, if I had Bamboozle and Moxie, though. I have the Moxie, I just don't have the Bamboozle. Could've come back after I get Bamboozle. No, I wish for prizes. That's easy enough. Shit, I really keep Spiritual's bar up, so... Neat, thanks. Grab it. Chopped off car door. Oh my god. Let's add another crowbar. Anarchist hardware. Welding and wielding teaches advanced weapon and repair techniques. Weapon repair, what durability is unlocked? Is that a setting or is it? <laughs> I'm turning that off. I would like to keep using my weapons, thanks. Mostly nose like chopped yet. Jimmy the lock. I need a wire co hanger. So I got Mr. Brewsters. Let's go there. Attack them. Played an unpleasant chord at my turtle. That is it. You get the Bible. <laughs> Mr. Brewsters. Oh, wait. Hobo code. Nice lady, but she only likes salesmen. Oh, well, not super useful to a non hobo, but at least she has some translation practice. Boarding house, disguise, perhaps a fuffle. And men talking to each other. So I insist that Dan will put the bottom of this, so I'm acting panicked. With Bruce, I've got to call the cops. It's murder, somebody's do something. What do you think? Good gracious. Talk to the woman. Uh, offer to help. And my lodge is further in the night, no one saw anything. Uh, what's marvelous? It's always a mystery. Okay, it's a deal. Thank goodness, I can tell my bad victim. He was a traveling salesman. All my lodges are traveling salesman. What did he sell? They come to the house for anyone to have the to deal. Well, how did he die? I'm not sure the body's missing. Look, you better just go look for yourself. He's on three seal like doors, so nobody can mess around there. I'm gonna solve a murder. Someone committed the murder. Sadly, this murder wasn't on an Owl Express, but you know. <laughs> There's a joke in there. The people who get it will get it. <laughs> you got it, right, Sid? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should probably check the crime. Alright, let's go see the crime scene. 
3C. Locked door with games and fashion. Prefer to get grab mess book one for an extra stand bar at this site. Oh jeez, they're doing this much blood inside of a fish. <laughs> Why can't I fish in it? Huh, nothing. Must be shallower than it looks. Use for the bags. Max mass. Bolt blood. This long skill must come from inside the house. Oh. Check yourself for clues. Hi, Doc. <laughs> fish. You got a handful of clean water. Check underneath it. We rolled up the leg. Whoa, what the heck? There's a crazy occult diagram underneath it. The limes and glyph beard have been burned down on the floor. You can see little blobs of melted candle wax and points of dust. So it's faintly weird. And so it's got kind of ritual killing? Great, like regular old murder wasn't enough. Extra high heels. Makes your steps higher. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna try on my extra high heels. <laughs> I fucking love this shit, dude. <laughs> We're wearing the extra high heels for a while. <laughs> Did you find anything? Found how each pool blood. Let's see where Did you find anything else? Yes, actually. Oh, uh, cold circle. Oh my goodness, I guess I can black smash because I guess it looks away. No business mind stands one bit. Especially selling cold splines in for Let's ask around, okay. Only oh, nice brewers allowed in the kitchen. What? Uh, oh. Investigating murder, actually. Thank goodness somebody is. You know, middle salesman. Cold stuff, I give him a wired birth that doesn't live in the room below the sunglasses salesman. Okay. Room below the sunglasses salesman. So I can do it for you, investigating murder? Not really, the guy who sells the little Derringer pistols, he was complaining about the guy who was right above him. That's Trinket's Bobbles guy, because he keeps making a racket drop stuff on the floor. Oh, that's something, thanks. Who's there? I'm not open door, the kill on loose, investigating murder, I have any information, the sells my specialized gold stuff, that seems pretty suspicious to me. My sure is in, no, one of, the, isn't the one above me, he doesn't live at the same end of the hall as the victim either. Hello, I'm investigating murder. How do you know about the other salesman? Don't know about those guys. I think this guy sells brushes. Who's neighbor with the guys who sells pants? Oh boy. Oh yeah, I'm investigating the murder. What can you tell me? Be alive here. Pretty much keeps up. Oh, so a salesman sells jokes and gags. Isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes? Oh my god. Yes, what can I say? Oh, made again. Oh, yeah, it's Sunglass Guy. It's me, baby. What can I do for you? I'm investigating the murder. Oh, no, King. I just happened to give me some information about the people who live here. I don't know about that. It's a fella that sells jokes and gags somewhere on this floor, I think. And there's a guy that sells pants, but I can tell you about the guy right below me. Sorry. No problem. Thanks, anyway. So, wait, it isn't him. What was yours? Oh, no, it's a guy that sells derringers. Lives right underneath the guy who sells trinkets. Can you repeat that? It says cold stuff doesn't live above me. It doesn't live at the same end of the hall as the victim. So... It's not response to try now it's locked. Don't kill me to offer to sell you Derringer, so he's the one who sells the guns. Cold stuff doesn't live in the room below the sunglasses salesman. And they're both... And they're both still alive. Uh... The 2C is still suspicious. Wait, or is it? The guy who sells Derringer lives right underneath the guy who sells trinkets. So the guy who sells trinkets is this guy. He sells trinkets. And I was a guy who's brush with salesman lives next to a pants salesman. Says so jokes and gags. Isn't the one who lives next to the one who lives above the one who sells brushes? Who's the one who sells brushes? Oh. Got 
Does he have a point there? Uh, not yet. It's very hard to get information. <sighs> okay. I know it's not this guy, because he sells derringers. So he's not the one who does it. And by process of elimination, okay, we know that the guy who sells derringers is safe, and the guy who serves trinkets is above him, so he's safe. And the killer's not on the side of the victim, which the victim was here, so it can't be 3D anyway. But this is the guy who sells trinkets. No noted. Uh, the guy who sells Gold Co. stuff doesn't live above me, it doesn't live at the same end of the hall as the victim. Meaning, it is not this guy, because it's this guy. The only two guys I've met around here are Jokes and Gags, so who lives on this floor, and a Pants Hawker, who I know doesn't live in the room right below me. So, this is the Jokes and Gags guy. So, above the one... So wait, he's talking about himself, because he's the jokes and gags guy. Because he lives... Okay, so he lives on the same floor. Yeah. And we know that this guy is someone else because of Derringer over here, right? Yeah. No, wait, no. Who, who do we know that because of? So it's dangerous, it's right beneath the guy who sells trinkets. So that's the guy who sells trinkets. So we know for a fact it is not anyone on this floor. Right? Yeah. Pants Hawker doesn't live in the room right below me. So... This is not the Pants Hawker. So, hypothetically, this is the only guy who could be the Pants Hawker then, right? So it's gotta be 2A, right? Because if 2C is her room, and this is the Derringer guy, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's gotta be 2A. It physically has to be 2A. There's no other answers. So I figured out who the cultist is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, shall I gather everyone to go see the crimes? You can do a dramatic reveal like how it is in novels? Uh, sure, go on. Huh? Uh, I suppose I'm wondering if I can't understand it, so it's still some murder counts, but I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2A, right? That's what I said? Mm -hmm. It's the guy in 2A. What? No, I don't sell... No, I don't. I sell brushes. I don't know what sells cool stuff, and I, and I didn't kill anyone. This is no... Well, this isn't even one of my circles. Well, nuts. So the wardrobe <laughs> flies open. Yeah, I felt it pretty good. What the heck? Who are you? I'm the victim. I sold jokes and gag stuff. How do you like my, my new giant fake rubber pool of blood? Isn't this great? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did all of that puzzle solving for nothing. So, I was wrong because the victim was the jokes and gags, man. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna give you something for being such a good sport, kid. We're in good health. It makes you more likely to encounter a traveling salesman. Oh my god. At least it's dissolved. Minimum fuss. I'm doing something for you. Well, fair enough. I get EXP. That sure was something. Extra small derringer. <laughs> sure, I'll buy one. 
I got an extra, an extra small gun. All right, I should probably end the recording here because we've been going for a while. It was pretty fun though. Anyway, so we'll close the map here. And option to save, or is it just auto save? It might auto save. Okay, it auto saves. And as always, I've been Doug Dio, joined by C Sandwich. Hope you enjoyed uh, hanging out with us, playing this with us. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Got anything to say, C? Nope. Okay, bye bye.